Welcome back to Stooge Club. I am your host, The Stooge. It's been a few days and that means it is time for another pickups episode. So let's have a look at what we got. But before that, geeks, gamers, sweaties that still live at home in their mothers and collectors, strap yourselves in. Here we go. If you saw the last unboxing episode, me and the Knockout Fiona unboxed five of these. There was only 10 left, so I bought them and took the box, and I will use that box to display some wrestling type things. Probably these, actually. Charity shop the other day, we found the Crino Transformers tub. Now, the thing I was looking for with these two minifigures, uh, I like the Crino little minifigures. I've got a few. If you dig way back in the channel's history, you might find some uh, of those as, say, two pounds for the whole tub. And we have one and two complete blue streak and side swipes. Come on, terrible lighting. There we go. Blue streak, side swipes. All right, and it looks like all the pieces are there. Prime's head's in there and Bumblebee's head's in there if I ever want to put them together. The chances are I will probably use this tub for something else. Uh, for 49p, we got a Funko Pop Buttercup. That's right, folks. Powerpuff Girls rule. Uh, we got a Falcon. This one was $2.99. But he's on a little stand. He actually does look pretty cool. Uh, for uh, one pound, I got this Spidey. See, he does that. And his eyes light up and stuff. There, he does all different things. That was pretty cool. This was a... Extreme oddity that I just absolutely had to get. Uh, this is the raw edition of the Christian Bible done as a manga book. Now, I'm not silly and I don't believe in imaginary best friends, but this should be interesting just for the sake of it. For how much was this dude? Two, three pounds even. Three pounds even. We got... A giant chewy plush that goes. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. And he's very furry. It looks very cool. And just one more time. That's cool. Now, it wouldn't be one of my pickups without some sort of media, so let's get that out of the way. These are the four for a pounders. We have uh, Gossip. Good movie if you haven't seen it. Haven't seen the new Total Recall. Jane Silent Bob Strikes Back. You have to buy that. Uh, Looney Tunes back in action. This is the end. Mega Shark versus Giant Octopus. That is going to rock. District 9, which is a fantastic film if you haven't seen it. And Chronicle, which I haven't seen. So that's two pounds. Got to be happy with that. A little bit more media. Don't know how much this ended up being because they just kind of threw it in with a pile of other stuff and it ended up just like, just give us 10 pounds. So I think maybe I paid a pound for Dragon Ball Season 5 Remastered. Uh, two pounds, Batman. Animated series, volume one. Can't go wrong. And three for a pound, we got the Big Lebowski Special Edition, Pitch Black, which is a fantastic movie, and Pulp Fiction. So, got to be happy with that. That wasn't bad at all. Uh, one pound, one of these Top Trumps card things, because it's the Avengers, so that's kind of cool. For three pounds... Uh, three ninety nine. Sorry, an entire box sealed of Tops Hero Attack trading card game, Marvel Cinematic Universe uh, up to Civil War. This includes Civil War packs. 
Cool. This is going to be a future video. Who didn't guess that? And last but not least, folks, it was in the title. It's the reason you are here. We have 10 comic book blind bags from WoW Comics in Stockport. Here, my local comic book shop. They do these blind bags. They are a pound. I'm just moving stuff out of the way while I'm talking if you're wondering what the shadows are. Uh, they're a pound. You get three books in there. Could be anything. You've got mature readers. Uh, we've got teen plus... And I think just a couple of the regular ones. So, let's crack these open because I am dying to find out what is in here. We do this every couple of uh, weeks. If you are in Manchester, uh, you've got WoW Comics. I know they've got a place here in Stockport. They've got one in Crew. Go check them out. They're a cool little comic shop. I'm a big fan. All right, what do we get? What do we get? So, this is a Mature Readers one. So, this might have some... Uh, more adult themed stuff. Oh, that's pretty damn cool, actually. Okay. The Six Gun, Son of a Gun. So this is clearly a Western book. Uh, and this would be issue four. Uh, sorry. Yeah, issue four and issue 31 of The Six Gun. Okay, that's going to be interesting. And Threshold, uh, issue 26. Uh, this is by Avatar. Avatar does do more adult-y style books, but Garth Ennis also does books for them as well, like a couple of dicks. So you do get some cool stuff. All right, this one also says mature readers, mature books. Now, there is a difference between mature and mature only. The mature only ones I have no interest in. Mature readers just means that it's going to have more adult concepts. I have no idea what this is. This is a, a Boom Studio book. All right, so it is uh, Thomas L. Alsop, issue five of eight by Boom. Oh, nice. Six gun, 29. So we're getting a few of these issues now. Uh, that's by Oni Press. And an image book, 10 grand. J. Michael Strinsky, great creator. Haven't read 10 grand, so that's interesting. All right, now we're teen plus. Maybe. All right. So I'm guessing I'm going to get a whole lot more of like indie and image books in this lot around. And I have absolutely no problems with that. Oh, this is a cool, cool little set here. All right, cool. Okay, so we have Red Wolf. This is Marvel. This is a more, um, again, non-superhero-y, more adult-y concept dealt with American Indians and so forth. So that's pretty cool. Issue two of that. Uh, we've got the Red Star issue four. Image book. I've read, I think, maybe one Red Star trade. Uh, and Red Star 7.5. Uh, Transmutation. Okay, cool. Haven't really read much of that, so I'm pretty happy with that. All right, next one. This is another one of those teeny plus. We're going to end up with some image here. Um, maybe some Wildstorm. Let's see. Cool. Interesting. First wave. Uh, Batman, Doc Savage, and the Spirit. That's interesting. Issue 6 of 6. I never read this crossover. Don't really know much about Doc Savage. Obviously, I know um, the Spirit. Doc Savage came from pulp novels, I believe. Rising Stars. Speaking of J. Michael Shrinsky. Uh, Rising Stars. Great series. Bright. Uh, I'm not sure if I've read Bright, though. Read the original Rising Stars. And another issue of Rocket Girl. Rocket Girl issue six. So I think we got an issue of Rocket Girl in the last lot of books. Very cool. I'm liking that I'm getting stuff that I normally don't read. Okay, this is a pretty cool little lot here as well. All right, so we have... Um, these are all image books. We've got Bloodpool. So I'm guessing this is... 90s, 2000s, yeah. Bloodpool, issue three, uh, we have Chapel, issue four, so that's how the pages are spawned there, and uh, the others, I don't know what this is, I've never seen this before, I've seen a lot of books, I've never seen the others, this must not have lasted long, but very interesting, 
Cool, I will check that out for sure. And that's issue one, so nice. What have we got here? Another one of these ones. Let's see, all right. Yeah, definitely some more Wildstorm image stuff here. Cool. Cool. I don't know this book. See, I was never a kind of an image dude, so I missed a lot of the image books. So we've got Regulators, Issue 2. Now, of course, I've read The Authority. Uh, I can't even read the title on that. Let me... Oh, Crypt. Crypt, Issue 2. Okay, I don't know that book either. This one I have heard of before. Uh, Cybernary, Issue 2. I haven't read it, but I have heard of it. Uh, so my image sort of life or my interactions with image are Spawn, Wildcats, uh, The Authority, and a few, you know, random other little things, but not a huge amount. Oh, cool. So this is the type of stuff that I really like. Just weird, really out there stuff. So... Kitchen Sink Press, uh, or they're called Kitchen Sink Comics now. Captain Stern. I have no idea what this is. Issue two or five. It's bound to be interesting. Uh, Caliber Press. Storm West. I don't know what this is. A uh, Storm Quest. Sorry. Nice art. Definitely from the '90s era. You can tell by the the sort of everyone did image art then. And Troublemakers, this I've heard of, haven't read, issue one of Troublemakers, very cool. Okay, we have one, two, three more folks, three more to go. Oh, nice. Another issue of Stormquest, Stormquest issue four, cool. Uh, this is Harris Comics, The Rook. Never even heard of Harris Comics, so that's going to be interesting. Uh, and Eternity, Fem 5. I know these guys. I've seen uh, trades of this and stuff. I haven't read it, but I, I've heard of that at the very least. Now these, last two. These are plain bag. They don't say anything on them. Usually these are the ones that have Marvel and DC books in them. Usually, not always. Let's see. Well, that's a good start. <laughs> Okay, that's cool. Who are the Mystery Men? I don't know this series, and it's a Marvel book, so that is surprising to me. Some mini series that just kind of flew under my radar. All right, that's going to be interesting. That looks noirish. Uh, Malibu Comics, which is Marvel. Uh, the Nightman. I know it's weird. I know these mostly from the crossovers. So Nightman and Gambit had a crossover issue. And more Marvel Mangaverse. Cool. With Marvel on the cover there. The Fantastic Four, Watcher. Marvel Mangaverse for fun. And that's issue one. Happy with that. And this is it, folks. The last bag. And look at how worn this bag is. The corners even come off. Like, this has been sitting there for a while. So, that's why I left this one for last. Because usually the ones that have been sitting there for a while are the funnest ones. And, yep, straight off the bat, Worlds Collide. So this was Milestone, DC crossover before DC just flat out bought Milestone. And there's uh, Icon and Superman. Static down there, very poorly drawn. We have uh, Superman. Superman 409, 50 years. Wait. Is this... This has to be 80s. Oh, yeah, 1985. 1985. Damn, that's cool. And the last one. How? How does this keep happening? Spider-Man Pocketbook number seven. I have a collection of these now. And awesome. These are cool. They're little black and white reprint books. They were made to be you know, throw away little things. That's why they're so cool. They were, they were literally made to be bought, read, and thrown away or destroyed or whatever. And somehow these have survived. 
That's so cool. That's very cool. I'm, yes, very happy. So that's what we got this time around, folks. Let me know in the comments below what you think as usual. Until next time, don't forget, adventure, excitement, Stooge craves not these things. Welcome to the Stooge Revolution. This is Stooge Club.